Hello and welcome to Channels Book Club. I am Olakunle Kasumo. Recently, the 2019 winner of the Nigeria Prize for Literature was announced at a grand event hosted in Abuja, Nigeria's capital. It was organized by the Nigeria Liquefied and Natural Gas Company, NLNG, which has consistently sponsored the prize for the past 15 years. Here's how it went. Jude Idada's Boom Boom has won the Nigeria Prize for Literature, sponsored by Nigeria LNG Limited, for the 2019 cycle on children's literature. The book etched out Mysteries at Ebenezer's Lodge by Duni Olatunde and The Great Wars of Benin by Oti Bego to clinch the $100,000 prize money. The book had competed against 173 books submitted for the competition in March 2019. The announcement was made at NLNG's 20 to 30 anniversary ball and award night in Abuja by Professor Emeritus Ayobanjo, chairman of the advisory board. The Nigeria Prize for Literature rotates yearly amongst the four literary genres, prose fiction, poetry, drama and children's literature. This year's is for children's literature. Out of 173 entries, three made the final cut and a winner emerged from the finalists. Mr. Jude Idada, the author of Boom Boom, and the winner of the NLG Prize for Literature in the children's category in the 2019 Literature Prize. Congratulations to both award recipients. Come on now, ladies and gentlemen, they just walked away with 36 million naira each. If you're not clapping, then it's envy, I know. Jude Idada, who emerged winner in his third attempt, was emotional and dedicated the prize to those living with sickle cell anemia. The winning work highlights the daily struggles of the victims of sickle cell anemia. First up, I want to say the award is for all warriors out there. Everyone who is battling sickle cell anemia and the individuals who are fighting to end the scourge of the disease. The book, the prize is for you. Also at the event, Professor Mei Hong Wang and Dr. Matthew Aneke were also awarded $100,000 as joint winners of Nigeria Prize for Science. Mr. Wang and Aneke were announced as winners for their work on carbon capture, carbon utilization, and biomass gasification and energy storage for power generation. We all know that uh, the issue of uh, global warming is no longer a hoax. It's something, it's a reality that we are living in today. And uh, we are looking at ways we can tackle a global warming. And one of the major culprits that is causing global warming is the concentration of CO2 in the atmosphere. So we are developing materials that can take those CO2 off from the air and help us to reduce uh, the impact that CO2 is having on the atmosphere. I consider this award not not only to be a, a recognition of my contribution and master's contribution, top master's and its contribution to the development of technologies to curb climate change, but also for our contribution for my contribution in training Nigerian engineers in this area. Ladies and gentlemen, we present your winners for the prize for science, the prize for the criticism and the prize for literature. It's been 15 years since the company has been sponsoring the Nigeria Prize for Literature and Science. The Nigeria LNG Prizes for Science and Literature are so dear to our hearts at NLNG. The past 15 years has been an exciting journey, but most definitely very fulfilling for us, and I believe for the country and indeed all the past winners. I say so because thanks to the prizes, our nation now boasts of famous works on poetry, prose, drama, and indeed children's literature, as we will soon see today. 
By this and many other initiatives that Nigerian LMG has, brought, uh, has promoted as part of its uh, corporate social, uh, uh, you know, so, social responsibility initiative, every uh, rational and analytic person will confirm that this is a company that truly has the nation's development at heart. It's celebration time as the Nigerian liquid and natural gas marks 30 years of incorporation and 20 years of safe and reliable production of liquefied natural gas. What does that spell? N-L-N-G!